Washington's Poison Center is warning people about the dangers of mixing chemicals, specifically household cleaners. They've had some unsettling reports. Our Caitlin Knapp is working for you. She lays out the numbers from this year and what you can do to keep your family safe. The Washington Poison Center has sent an increase in calls about poison exposures such as hand sanitizer and soap, and they said this can be preventable. More cleaners out on the counter and some stores running out. They mix bleach with um, ammonia and that can generate a toxic gas called chloramine gas. People have started to make their own in order to kill bacteria. But the Washington Poison Center said this isn't the answer. It's also important to read the labels carefully of these products and to only use substances for their intended use. They've seen an increase in poisonings, people inhaling, drinking, or touching harmful chemicals. Fortunately, have only resulted in minor symptoms. Just a few have resulted in um, it being necessary to refer them uh, to a health care facility. Since the start of the year, the Poison Center has had more than 13,000 calls. 1,200 people have been exposed to cleaning products. The numbers that we report are probably an underestimation of the total number of exposure. To make sure you don't become part of these numbers, Liebelt suggests a few things. Make sure that you have the windows open so there's good ventilation, as well as to not store any of these household cleaners in other containers that look familiar to either other children or adults. Recently, she said someone put a cleaner in a drink bottle, which could have had serious consequences. Some poisoning symptoms can be vomiting, difficulty breathing, a skin reaction, or passing out. Now, if you or your family member has been exposed to some sort of chemical, you can call the poison helpline at 1-800-222-1222, and that remains confidential, and you don't have to give any of your information. Reporting in Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.